upload your music to YouTube, upload your music to Facebook, upload your music to Spotify, upload your music to Apple Music. Make sure that you put all of um, your videos in more than one basket. I'm going to tell you why. Uh, what specifically happened to me, I used to upload all my music videos and everything just to YouTube. And I had I didn't save like all of my footage um, on an external hard drive. So when YouTube terminated my account and they still got my videos, I lost all my music videos since 2007. All my history, over 10 million views, over probably 8,000 subscribers. Let me tell you about the subscribers. These are the people who avidly watching my, my videos. These are the people who, when I drop something new, they buying it or they spending money for me to come to birthday parties, do versus features, anything I had going on. So right now, a lot of these people who was from all over the United States, even some outside of the country, you know, um, this... This was kind of like, I guess, pre-incorporating Instagram and Facebook together. Facebook and Instagram was both out, but, you know, it, it's kind of getting to where now everybody will go check out all your handles. But at first, it's like if, if you're on Facebook, you're on Facebook. If you're on Instagram, you're on Instagram. It's still kind of like that, but it's starting to get more intertwined now. But just make sure that y'all save everything you got uploaded to multiple different channels so your history will still be there because it did affect me in a huge way like when I lost my YouTube channel not only that I was making money off of it anywhere from 800 to maybe 1500 a month just off of people watching my videos and we talking about thousands from people spending money with me but that history them views um just seeing you know um the popularity that i got from the videos which in return brought me money so you know that was an asset so just just reminding all artists not even artists just whatever you is comedian entertainers whatever when you when you when you putting that footage out there that make sure that you upload it to different um outlets and save it that way you always have it and, and you never feel like you're starting over or whatnot but um on another level make sure y'all check out the youtube channel guys of grind music firm and uh a lot of the new videos that um i got out teaching people about the music uh, business. One thing I used to be proud of, man, was that I was one of the first persons to actually upload how to make money in the music business on YouTube. You got so many people who are doing it now, but I remember back when I started, it was like 2007, and I was putting them videos out there how to make money. I was putting videos on, out there how to uh, do touring and doing shows and stuff like that and and that's why they had so many views i had like some of them videos a half a million views a million views well i'm just telling people how to make money because they've been out there so long being shared so many times you know but gog holler at me baby savage got grind on instagram guys grind music firm on youtube